here's your first of the week video. As you can see, we got leaves. We got leaves everywhere. And right here is all that we have left. These have all been terminated except for one there. And then, then the, there's the main vine, so it's running off that way. Back here, that one's terminated, that one's terminated, and we got one left to fill in just that spot. So by the end of the week, it'll probably even in a couple of days, it'll be terminated. And here is the 1990 Marenzer. So we cut off our backup. Don't have it underneath there anymore. I'm not sure that was such a good idea. I don't know. These are always those times when you're just a little concerned. Why am I concerned? Well, there she is. Hard to see on video, but she's pretty lumpy. I mean, she's gonna be a wheel just like her mama, no doubt. I'm not 100% sure if I'm really loving this one. It's got a big old split here. Doctor in there and I'm trying to keep it good to go. It's got a real nice stem. I mean, if I want to give it some good things, that stem on it's going to be humongous. So, not growing the fastest right now, but it's early. I mean, it's got the heavy genetics in it, so sometimes that's what happens with those heavy genetics. So, there's a look at the old plant. I got no complaints. Zero. Now let's go over there. Oh, what do I see? Something's peeking through. Let's go check that out. And here we are on the Gettys plant. Once again, here's what we got left. I've actually terminated all of those. There's the main vine right there. So that's the only thing that's left here. Actually, there might be one vine stuck underneath there that I'm growing out. So that's it there. There's a look at the leaves. On this side over here, we got one vine coming back this way. I kind of grew up from back where the pumpkin was over here, growing it up just to let it grow in there. I got another vine right in there that I'm filling in a little space here. It really isn't any, but I'm letting it. And then there's one more vine over here and it'll fill in the back space right there. Completely filled in this year. Last year, I didn't have some of this area filled in. This year we do. But who cares about that, am I right? Let's go check that girl out. And once again, this is another reason why you're just like, dang. Sometimes during the season, you get like, man, did I plant the right one? Should I planted two of one pumpkin? I mean, obviously I'm in love with this pumpkin at the moment. She's doing great. Getting easier to take it off and on. Big and orange right there. I mean, the stem on it's perfect. No complaints. The butt, let's go look at that. I mean, that's the only issue that it was trying to grow over its butt. And it's still a little bit. I mean, it's definitely big here. And the butt's there, but lifting it up definitely helped. You can see it pushing sand. Look at that. Pushing that all that sand that me and my wife put underneath of it. So, what does she weigh? I don't know. But she's definitely a lot bigger than what she was when you last saw her. And she has no signs of stopping. So definitely great looking pumpkin here. I don't know. We'll find out, right? There you go. First of the week. Looking good. I'm seeing a lot of big pumpkins out there. The patton has got some big ones going. It looks to me like old Chad New's got some big boys going. I got a feeling he's going to give me a heck of a tussle with this one. We got some Iowa boys fighting it out looking real good their plants are looking amazing so it ain't gonna be an easy year we got some midwesterners that are really shooting for the stars this year so we'll find out we'll see how it all ends up good luck everybody see you at the end of the week all right Cade. so we took a video on thursday tuesday and now I'll, it is thursday so let's go give everybody a good check of our thursday progress first of all always like to look at the plants and there you go, you can see one vine that I snipped off is climbing up there. Another vine, he's climbing way up the side. I need to get him out to the side there to finish out our little area there. Obviously the plant is still looking good. Back here, there's one vine I need to snip off there. There's the main vine, it's climbing up. I need to direct it back this way, because that's where I'm gonna keep it growing. 
And here it is, the 1990 Marenzer, and I call this the week of growing pains. Why is it the week of growing pains? Well, this one here, unlike the Gettys plant back there, by the way, if you had good eyes, you could have saw it. It has been growing extremely fast. I think we're on day, let's see, day 10 was Sunday, like day 14 right now on this pumpkin. And it's way, 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 way ahead of where the Gettys pumpkin is. But the growing pains that I'm talking about is right there. Grown so fast, it's split there, it's split here. Now, just today, it's got a big split right there. They don't. Yeah, on that side, I don't feel anything. So, we got growth splits. We got all kinds of growth splits going on on that one. But, flip side is it's growing really fast. Now, this one is way, way, way ahead of day 14 of where the Gettys was. Personally, I don't believe that that necessarily equates to a bigger pumpkin at the end of the year. That's why it's going to be very fun to see Gettys versus Marenzer this year. We tell the two pumpkins. First one that we set, took off, grew, we kept it. Third pumpkin that we set, finally is taken off, way out on the main line, about 28, 27 feet, maybe more. I'm guessing at 27 feet. That's what I'm guessing this one's going to be out on the main bike. Much further than the Getty. So, But the one thing, like I said before, is they got a huge stem on this one. This stem is almost the same size as the Getty's. So I don't know. Maybe that's going to be good. The shape? Who knows what the heck this shape's going to be. I think yeah. it's just going to be tall. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, I think it's going to be taller. Yep. All right, well, should we go show them the Getty's pumpkin? Yep. All right, pal, and to keep up with the theme of growing pains, let's go check out yep. the Gettys plant. Once again, there you can see the plants are all done there, pretty much all terminated. Uh, back here, middle of the week, like I said, I was growing this one. It's only got a little bit to fill in. That one's only got a little bit in that one. They're all turned back and they're all coming this way. So all of that space like I said, I just like to fill in my space. I don't worry about which vines. If I had more space, I probably would be more concerned. But uh, I'm not worried about it. So, yeah, I'm just worried about more growing my plants. So I just wanted to make sure the plants fill in. Get good, big, healthy plants. I think, I don't know, personally, but like I said, if you watch all the people's Bubba's video, is different than Josiah's, which is different than Travis's, which is different than, um, I think a theme you're gonna find out is different than every Moby Mike's videos. You're gonna find a theme that we're all doing things differently. And most of it's what works for you, what works for your space. So this for me, for my space, this is what works. If I, I don't like redirecting vines in other directions because I would like to be able to walk back and forth directly into my plant. If I had a lot more space, I would, would probably grow my plant differently. So I think it's all about a big, healthy plant. And as you can tell, big, healthy plant. Anyways, rambling on here. Kate, let's show them the Gettys and the growing pains. And if you're online and you saw my little post I made about Gettys versus Marenzer, who you're rooting for, I haven't checked it here right recently, but right away, I think there was like 14, 13, 14 votes and the Gettys. Is who most people are rooting for, Cade. Who are you rooting for? Marenzer. You're rooting for the Marenzer, but the Marenzer isn't as pretty as this one. Uh, I guess, yeah. I think a lot of people are rooting for the pretty pumpkin, right? Yeah, but I'm rooting yeah. for the thickest and biggest. You want big. Yeah, you're like me. Who cares what it looks like? I want that sucker to weigh a ton at the end of the year, right, buddy? Yeah. Well, if you do care about looks, here's the pumpkin for you, right? And Cade's looking to see because he didn't know what I did. So he's trying to figure out these growing pains. Do you know what it is yet? He's looking. He's looking. Oh, is it the vine? The, yeah. He said, oh, is it the vine? What do you think about the vine? What do you notice here? It's pushing against the pumpkin. Right there. Show him. Yes. Yep. So right there. Get your hand out of the way. There you go. You can see the vine is starting to get closer. So I will eventually have to put a rope coming through here and probably pull it that way, I think. 
But right now, what I like to do is take the pool noodles, and I don't keep the pool noodles the whole end. I like to cut them in slices like that. So that way you can cut them to the exact size you want it. And just keep that vine off of the pumpkin. Yeah, that's all that that's for. And what I'll do is I'll watch right where that pumpkin vine meets right up there for a kink here. And I'm not as concerned about the kink on this side, but the kink coming into the main vine from the other direction. I really watch so that that doesn't get kinked. Right now it's a nice straight vine, but eventually yeah. it's going to keep pushing this way on our and vine. This that's about the same size as the Marantzer's stem. Yeah, show us with your hand down there. Oh, your head's in the way. Oh. Yeah, there you go, his hand. Yeah, back closer towards the vine. It's, it's about the same size. Obviously, where it's at the pumpkin, it's getting quite yep. a bit bigger. But this is a pretty pumpkin. So yeah. I can see why people have more people have voted for this one. But yep, hey, too. don't sell short on the Marantzer, people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that one's still going to win. Duh, but this is pretty big. Yeah. All right. There's your middle of the week, people. Keep yeah. them growing. Obviously, the theme of growing pains is going on here. If you got any growing pains, let us know about it. Maybe we can help. Who knows? Yeah. Tell us what it is, and we'll we'll try to help you out. Yep. All right, Phoebe and I, we've been traveling and having fun on the 4th of July, haven't we? Yeah. We haven't gave anybody a pumpkin update for a little over a week, so we better hurry. We're going to make it a quick one, aren't we? Okay, so we're at the 1990 Marenzer plant, and well, the neglect hasn't hurt it too much, I'd say. It looks pretty darn good. It looks as big as the other one when I saw it last. You think so? Yes. Well, let's go uncover it for everybody. And the theme of A Tale of Two Pumpkins continues. We got the Marenzer coming in as the fast growing ugly duckling. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, drum roll please, Phoebe. Tell us what you think when you uncover it. What do you think, what do you think? It's white, it has a couple of little marks on it. Uh-huh, is it pretty? Yeah, it's in the marks. <laughs> well, we take that off in there a little bit so they can see. Yeah, we need to get it uncovered a bit. So there she is. She is on day 19, right? We said it was day 19 for this girl. So we're 70 inches around right now. So this one is way, way ahead of the where the Gettys pumpkin was. So it looks good. It's a little ugly, but we don't care. We want heavy, right? Yeah. I think it's growing extremely fast. So the theme of the tail of two pumpkins, we're gonna find out. This one's growing really fast. Gonna be some of our best day 20 numbers ever. And then we got the Gettys, who is the slow-mo pumpkin. And we'll find out what it looks like here in just a second. Let's go show them. Now we're back on the Gettys plant. Still looking great. And as you can tell, it's all filled in everywhere. Same with the Marenzer, it's all filled in. Phoebe's making her way back to the girl. And like we said, the tail of two pumpkins. Yeah, this one can. It's really, big compared to the last time. it's really big compared to the last time you saw it. Yeah, day forty. It's not really big for day forty. It's kind of smaller, but it's funny. It's from day thirty to day forty. It keeps getting more and more pounds per day. So lift her up. Let's see it. She's pretty. She's pretty. Nice orange. I love white pumpkins. They're always pretty. Yeah, yeah. She is nice and pretty. We're still having to doctor up the stem on it. It's really trying to push now. She's getting some big ribs up front. She's really pushing that way. This so. Has a it's got a little lip. Yeah. She's. She's had a pumpkin that looked like a triangle at the bottom. Yep. Yep. So this one here, it's got a, she's got a good look to her. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not as fast as we want it to grow. About 30 pounds per day is where we're at. I think it's uh, right around 500 pounds today, somewhere around there. So not too bad, not nothing great, nothing to write home about, but she is ahead of our 
1612 Marincer last year and for the same amount of inches she's growing more more inches per day than what the Marincer was now it's way behind on the days so the Marincer was about this size on day 30 ish so we're a little bit behind but doing good keep her growing everybody we'll see you guys peace